back in the cellar. I'm Jerry Greenfield, the Wine Whisperer, and today I want to talk to you about one of the biggest controversies and one of the biggest arguments in the entire world of wine. Corks versus screw caps. Oh my God, you can't believe how much ink and how much blood gets spilled on either side of this question. The people who are in favor of corks, the people who are in favor of screw caps. Here's the story. First thing we have to know is that the use of corks has, goes back about, I don't know, 700 years in sealing wine bottles. Problem is, cork is nothing more than the bark of a certain kind of oak tree. It gets a fungus. It's called TCA. I won't bore you with the great big long name, but TCA spoils wine. It makes it taste off. It takes the fruit out of it. Sometimes if it's really bad, it makes it taste like wet newspapers and, and, and cardboard. Problem is, corks get TCA. TCA can live in, in the cellar, in the, in the wooden pallets. So up to five to six percent of all wines that are bottled under corks get spoiled. Now, if you had a factory and five, for six, five or six percent of what you produced got spoiled and you had to throw it away, you wouldn't be very happy about it. The movement has gone to screw caps over the last 10, 15 years. The New Zealanders, the Aussies, people like that are really into it, really using them for wines that are meant to be drunk fairly fairly young. Um, the advantage of screw cap is that they're completely airtight, they're cheap, they don't spoil the wine, um, and many producers right now, even major producers like Chateau Margaux, are starting to put wines, some of their wines under their $5,000 a bottle wines under screw caps just to see in 10 or 15 years what's going to happen. Problem right now is that we don't know whether screw cap will preserve a wine for 20 years until 20 years from now. So if you got a problem with this whole screw cap thing, please get over it. There's a lot of great wines that are, that are bottled under screw caps and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm Jerry Greenfield, the Wine Whisperer. Here's